I really need to keep a good eye on my recordings. Once again, the recording cut out while I was recording. I keep forgetting. I only have a short amount of time. Anyway, then again, this is all going to go up at once. Um, several, probably a couple hours of art uh, put up all at once. I think his face looks pretty cute. Very simplistic. Very easy. I like simplistic. Simplistic makes it easier for the uh, person who sees the art to see it. I think his arms are a bit short. Because when I stand... Uh, my hands can go already about to almost my knees, yet his hand, fully outstretched, barely goes halfway through his thighs, because his knees are supposed to be right about here. Yeah, my hand can go around around here. His hand only goes here. a bit bad. Okay. So next thing on the list is to start coloring in what I already have. So I'm now going to look up uh, actually let's not cut off that full Let's look up some of the other people's art for Anthro Roddy's. Um, so yeah, a lot of people like to give like an orange fluff uh, on the chest, either a full underbelly or that's a simple line. Looks pretty cool. Some of the art that people have done based off of Rottweilers. Uh, okay. But this character is going to be wearing uh, a probably like a I guess it would be like an undershirt kind of thing for most people. Um, let's cut off a little bit. Let's uh, line across here, a line across here, because this is going to be like tight to his body, so it's not really going to affect much. And then we're going to do one line right there, and we're going to erase anything that is covered only slightly. So we're going to make this a bit bigger. We're going to make the opacity about, uh, I'd say about 60%. So it gives me a hint that something's there. Because you still got to show a fold that that's there. Um, because it's, you know, still there. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, that's still part of his cybernetics fit screen. I don't know why I keep doing that, where it's like his other arms is like, blah. That arm, that other arm right over here doesn't look too bad. It seems a bit big for him, for the character, and the legs seem a bit small. I'll probably fix that in the head. Uh, it probably needs a little bit of expansion, a little bigger to make sense with his body. So what I'm going to do is this, cut off right there, cut off right there, and then we're going to free transform, we're going to make it a bit 
bigger. Not a lot, just enough that it makes more sense. Deselect. Fit screen. Much better. Now the head seems like it's there. It's not like, I'm a shrunken head. Haha. <laughs> Um, let's do the bottom of his shirt, which is going to be across, probably about here. And then you're going to have, like, a pair of shorts that comes up right there, crossing over, and ending right about here and here. Reaching up to here. And... Yeah, go down there. And then that side will be the special one. And that side's probably not going to come off too much. You don't want it to be like overdoing the come off. And then we do this. Because once we get this part done, it should be relatively easy. I'm going to do... Uh, it's going to be like doing, a, I guess, a, I guess a coloring book, kind of. It's kind of my idea is to get the basic details in so when I do coloring book, I can be set and ready to go for what I'm trying to draw. And jeans. I'm gonna look up jeans. They're a lot easier to look at the top and guess what I currently need to do. Actually, no. Gym shorts. Let's look up gym shorts. Something that most common. Yeah, that looks good. Um. So we have like that, where you kind of like have a paracord band across. So right around here is where I'll put the band. It's got to be a bit bigger. And then we'll have like a, I guess a miniature band across through here. Let's make it a bit smaller. One little bit smaller. There's usually a bit right there uh, that I've seen, but mm, but I guess there's only a split down the middle. Lentils and the ends. Anyway, that's all I can do for uh, part four. See you in part five.